Hello everyone, welcome to World of Peace with me, Amy Kitudum. As usual, I am here to update viewers all around the world with the latest news and activities that were organized by some of the meditations worldwide, allowing locals and foreigners to come together to practice meditation and learn about Buddhism. Not only do they come to the meditation centers, but we also have teaching monks and staff going out to the community to teach the meditation. Let's go see what activities took place recently. Students from Hermitage School visited Wapatamagai, London to learn about Buddhism and meditation. Wapatamagai, London gave a warm welcome and taught basic Buddhist knowledge and the history of Buddhism. Then the teacher monk taught them meditation and how to bring their minds to the seventh base by visualizing a crystal ball and reciting the mantra, Samma Alahang. After the meditation session, the students looked at the Buddhist exhibition and went on a temple tour to learn more about the Buddhist practices such as giving, keeping precepts, and meditation. All the activities impressed the students very much and made them very happy. Wapatamagai Guma Japan arranged a weekend meditation retreat for locals at the Japanese Meditation Village from June 8th to June 10th, 2018, where there were a total of eight meditation sessions. There were nine Japanese participants that took part in this retreat. They participated in activities such as chanting the Tamadak Kapawatanatsu verse, exercising, offering meals to the teaching monks, meditation, and listening to Dhamma. Each participant had good meditation experiences. They felt comfortable and could still their minds and were peaceful because they meditated in a beautiful natural environment. They understood Dhamma more and would continue to meditate at home. They also revealed that they would come back to meditate with the temple again. The Dhammakaya International Meditation Center in Azusa, California arranged the Peace Point Meditation from June 8th to June 10th, 2018. The participants stayed at the temple and practiced Buddhist customs such as bowing, chanting, and keeping the five precepts. Most of them had good inner experiences from their meditation. For example, they were comfortable and felt that their bodies were weightless. On June 10, 2018, Anshi Meditation Clinic in Fusa, Tokyo, Japan, arranged a Japanese meditation class. Although there was a typhoon, many people joined this class. It was a wonderful experience and special thanks to the venerals from Wapatamagai, Tokyo for teaching the participants meditation and how to relax their minds. There was a Tuesday meditation class for beginners at Wapatamagai, London on Tuesday, June 12, 2018, where everyone learned how to meditate using the middle way technique. The teaching monk recommended a preliminary method for adjusting the body and the mind to be free from any anxiety. After that, everyone meditated together for 45 minutes. Then the teaching monk gave a sermon on the topic of the characteristic and guideline of good self-training practitioner in order to support the practical goal which is to still their minds and free it from any worries. When their minds were still, the inner brightness would shine and they would have great wisdom. This knowledge was very useful and interested the participants very much, making them want to come back and learn more. And those were just some recent activities. And now it's time for the quote of the week by Long Paul Tamat Shiyo from the book Pearls of Inner Wisdom. The essence of life. Our body is constantly being eaten away by the influences of suffering, impermanence, and not self. Thus, we cannot afford to waste a single moment, but must apply this deteriorating body to the search for Dhammakaya, the essence of life. Dhammakaya has the opposite qualities to our physical body and it is of nature of being truly permanent, the origin of happiness and true self, which is free from the control of Mara, the evil one. This was said on February 13, 2000. Well, everyone, that's all the time we have for this week. Don't forget to follow the World Peace News at Dhammakaya.net. And I will see you again next week here on World Peace. Swadikha.